द टॉपिक इज मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल इन मैग्नोस्टेटिक्स देर आर टू मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल द फर्स्ट इज अ स्मॉल करेंट लूप एंड द सेकेंड इज अ बार मैग्नेट सो देर आर टू मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल फर्स्ट इज अ बार मैग्नेट एंड सेकेंड इज अ स्मॉल करेंट लूप As we know that the bar magnet is a permanent magnet, is a it has two poles, north pole and south pole. And what about a small current loop? As we see that a current loop that is situated on x y plane behave as a magnetic dipole. Since current is flowing in anti clockwise direction, so by using a right hand thumb rule, we can determine the direction of the magnetic field intensity. And from here. as we see from the top on this small current loop we find that the current since current is flowing in anti clockwise direction it act as a north pole and when we see from bottom we find that the current is flowing in clockwise direction and it behave as a south pole so in this way a small current loop behave as a magnetic dipole it has two poles north pole and south pole and by using a magnetic dipole we can determine the magnetic field b vector at any point p now the first our objective is to determine the magnetic field b vector that is a magnetic flux density at some point p and here the p having a coordinate of r theta and phi means this is a spherical coordinate system r is the radius of the sphere and theta is the angle made by radius r with respect to z axis and phi is the angle with respect to x axis so this is a spherical coordinate system and we have to determine the magnetic field in terms of magnetic flux density b vector at some point p and here the we take a magnetic dipole that is a small current loop now as we know that in electrostatics there is a peak potential which is a scalar quantity but in case of magnetostatics we talk about a magnetic vector potential so with the help of magnetic vector potential we can determine the magnetic flux density b vector because here the magnetic vector potential is denoted by a vector and this is due to the current density j vector because as you know that the ampere circuital law is curl of h equals to j vector so in this way we can determine the magnetic vector potential in magnetostatics that is denoted by a vector and it is equals to mu not i upon 4 pi closed line integration dl vector upon r and with the help of magnetic vector potential that is a vector we can determine the magnetic field b vector that is curl of a vector which means that we take a curl operation of a magnetic vector potential and the curl of a magnetic vector potential gives a magnetic flux density b vector so here we consider a small current loop in which the current is flowing in anti clockwise direction and we have to determine the magnetic flux density b at point p and we know that the small current loop behave as a magnetic dipole it has north pole and south pole as we see from top view and bottom view now here we note that we consider a point p that is very far from this magnetic dipole such that this magnetic dipole appears very small with respect to point p that is a case of far field now from the electrostatic the electric dipole moment has a potential that is given by v that is a scalar one and it is equals to dot product of p vector and unit vector r upon 4 pi epsilon not r square so this is a electric dipole moment in case of electrostatic and we can relate a magnetic dipole moment similar to electric dipole moment here we note that in electric dipole moment we we have a dipole moment which is given by small p vector and in magnetostatics there is a magnetic dipole that is given by small m vector 
एंड इट इज इक्वल टू आई इंटू एस यून वेक्टर एन तो सो इन इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक वी यूज अ डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ डायपोल मूवमेंट एंड इन केस ऑफ मैग्नोस्टेटिक वी यूज अ क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट सो देर इज अनदर पॉइंट इन केस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल दिलन नॉट इज द रिलेटिव परमिटिव टी इन फ्री स्पेस एंड इन केस ऑफ मैग्नोस्टेटिक दैट इज इन केस ऑफ मैग्टिक वैक्टर पोटेंशियल देर इज अव नॉट दैट इज कॉल्ड परमिबिलिटी इन फ्री स्पेस दिस इज इन द न्यूमरेटर एंड एप्सिल नॉट इज इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो वी कैन रिलेट द द मैग्नेटिक वैक्टर पोटेंशियल बाई यूजिंग द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल वी Here v is the scalar quantity where a vector is a vector one. So in case of magnetostatic, we talk about magnetic vector potential, and electrostatic, we talk about scalar potential, and we can relate it in a electric potential. We use the dot product of p vector and u vector r, and in case of magnetic vector potential, we use the cross product of magnetic dipole and u vector r. In case of electric potential, the epsilon naught is in the denominator, while the mu naught is in the numerator. In case of magnetic vector potential, so with the help of magnetic vector potential, we can determine the magnetic flux density B vector. And here, the magnetic dipole moment is given by small m vector, and it is equals to I into S unit vector n. Here I is the current flowing in the small current loop, and S is the area of this current loop. And there is a normal unit vector which determines the direction of this current loop. The S is the area of this current loop, so the area is pi into e square. Here we consider that the small current loop having a radius of e, small e. So the magnetic dipole moment m vector is equals to i into pi e square unit vector z because the normal unit vector normal is same as unit vector z. So after putting the value of small m vector, we get a magnetic vector potential that is e vector equals to mu naught i pi e square unit vector z cross unit vector r upon four pi r square. So here we We have to determine the cross product of unit vector z and unit vector r. Now, the unit vector z cross unit vector r is determined as shown in figure. Here, this is a spherical coordinate system, so it has r, theta, and phi. Here, the unit vector r is in the direction of r. The unit vector z is in the direction of unit. Z axis and the unit vector phi. The unit vector phi is the unit vector that is along a tangent to the circuit. So from here, the unit vector r and unit vector z makes a angle that is theta angle. Means there is a theta angle between unit vector z and unit vector r. And unit vector phi is tangent to the circle. Means It also having a angle of ninety degree with respect to unit vector r and unit vector z. So in this case, we can determine the unit vector z cross unit vector r. Now from the figure, as this is a right angle triangle, the unit vector r and unit vector z having a magnitude of one, and this side that is the side along unit vector phi, the value is sine theta. So the unit vector z cross unit vector r is equals to sine theta unit vector phi. Now put the value of unit vector z cross unit vector r that is sine theta unit vector phi. So the magnetic vector potential a vector is equals to mu naught i pi e square sine theta unit vector phi upon four pi r square. Now from here the magnetic vector potential having only phi component. Because it has a unit vector phi direction, so there is a two component that is a r component and phi component of magnetic vector potential is zero. 
we have only a phi component that is mu naught i pi a square sin theta upon 4 pi r square. From here, we can determine the magnetic flux density b vector by using a curl of a vector. Now, we use a curl of a vector a. The curl of vector a can be determined by using a formula in case of spherical coordinate system that is 1 upon r square sin theta into a matrix the first row the first row is for unit vectors that is unit vector r r unit vector theta r sin theta unit vector phi second row is for del that is del upon del r del upon del theta del upon del phi and the third row is for the component of e vector since the component of e vector is only phi component and r and theta component is zero we can write the components respectively and solve this matrix so from here we take a unit vector r and there is a multiplication of the inner one and we get a 1 upon r square sin theta that is outer within bracket is r sin theta del upon del theta mu naught i pi e square sin theta upon 4 pi r square unit vector r minus r del upon del r r sin theta mu naught i pi e square sin theta upon 4 pi r square unit vector theta. In the first term we have to determine del upon del theta means del with respect to theta 1. So, in this case r is the constant, so we take outside the bracket and in the second term we solve with respect to r. So, in this case theta is a constant, we take it theta outside the bracket. So, the first term became del upon del theta sin square theta and the second term having del upon del r into 1 upon r. So, after calculating the first term is del upon del theta sin square theta. So, sin square theta can be converted into 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2 and the second term is del upon del r into 1 upon r, it becomes 1 upon r square. So, we simplify it and we get a magnetic flux density B vector is equals to mu naught i pi a square upon 4 pi r cube sin theta into sin 2 theta unit vector r plus mu naught i pi a square sin theta upon 4 pi r cube unit vector theta. In place of sin 2 theta, we can write 2 sin theta cos theta. Here sin theta is sin theta is cancelled, so we get only cos theta. So the magnetic flux density B vector becomes mu naught m upon 4 pi r cube within bracket 2 cos theta unit vector r plus sin theta unit vector theta because here we can write m in place of i into pi a square that is a magnetic dipole that is current into area i into pi a square so in place of i into pi a square we can write m m is the magnitude of magnetic dipole moment so here we find that the formula of magnetic flux density b is similar to the electric field intensity E in case of electric dipole. That is small p upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cube within bracket 2 cos theta unit vector r plus sin theta unit vector theta. In case of magnetic flux density, mu naught is in the numerator and in case of electric field intensity, the epsilon naught is, is in the denominator. In B vector, we have a magnetic dipole that is in the numerator and in case of electric field we have a electric dipole that is small p in the numerator. So, there is a similarity between the magnetic flux density B vector in magnetic dipole as electric dipole.